Okay, um, I don't really make videos like these, like serious videos, but I'm gonna do one today and I'm gonna address um, a bunch of stuff that's been happening with me. Um, so as you can probably tell by the title, something is happening with my eye. Um, and I'm wearing sunglasses, so it also gives it away. Um, but I'm gonna break down what's happened to me this past week and why it's been one of the craziest weeks of my life. And yeah, so it all started. Um, I was at camp, um, and I'm supposed to be there right now, but I'm not. Um, I was at camp for three weeks, um, and then on Monday, I was going on a canoe trip with the camp, um, with a bunch of my friends, and we arrived at the campsite, the first campsite, and it started getting late, so we ate dinner, and then we were in, like, a big woods, because, like, it's a campsite. And we're like, okay, why don't we play some manhunt in the dark? Because, like, that seems like a really cool idea. So, we go, and my friend gets, my friend says, okay, I'll be at first. Um, so we're running through the woods, and then we're just enjoying the game, and then the game's over. Uh, I actually didn't get caught, <laughs> but the game's over. Um, and they yell, game over. So I'm like, oh, nice, I want to make it to the next game. So I start sprinting fast. I can't really see because it's pitch black out. I can kind of see like outlines of trees, but like not that well. Um, so I see the outline of a tree to my left. And then I, m I move over and I can't see the tree branch. And there's this big tree branch that just clobs me in the eye. I don't even know if that's a real word. It just clobbers me in the eye. Um, I just remember blood was pouring out of my eye. And then I ran back to my counselor and tripper who was on the trip. And they looked at it. And they're like, okay, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay, everything is gonna be fine. Um, so they brought me to their tent, um, they brought out the first aid kit, they started like patting blood and cleaning me up, and then um, they saw that I had little pieces of like wood in my eye, so they took out a couple of those, and they were like, hold my hand, um, squeeze it tight, and then they'd pull something like out from behind my eyelid and everything. And none of these guys are actually doctors, so they have no idea what they're doing. And all they can see is my eye is bleeding, it's gushing blood, and it does not look good. Um, I remember they go, once they've cleaned me up, and it's uh, they give me a gauze, and they're just like, hold it on your eye for the next bit. And uh, there was a building nearby, so we went into it, and we just sat there, and we just like played games for a majority of the night and then he goes, do you wanna hear the good news or the bad news? He's like, the good news is um, you're okay, you still have your eye. Um, the bad news is you're being evacuated off the trip. Um, we're having someone pick you up right now and you're gonna be sent to a hospital. And at this point I was like, a hospital? I was like, cause I thought I was gonna be fine. I was gonna head back to my my campsite, continue the canoe trip with my friends. Um, but nope, I stayed in this room, um, just kept playing games until about like really late. And then we got picked up and we're near Ottawa at this point and we have to get down close to Toronto, um, to the hospital. So um, they arrive. Um, I know all the people in the car uh, that picked me up. We drive down to a hospital and um, we're in the emergency room at this point, it's 3.30 in the morning. I remember it was really late, we were all tired, we all wanted to get some bed, but it was 3.30 in the morning. Um, the emergency room took me in, and then this doctor, who turns out wasn't even an eye doctor, sees me, he goes, yeah, your eye is really messed up, so he starts talking to me and explaining what's probably gonna happen to me, and then eventually he gets these drips, he puts them in my eye, he's like, they're freezing cream, so right now your eye's frozen. And then he gets some orange dye and he drops it in my eye. And then he goes, um, sorry, this is just so I can see. And at this point, my whole vision is just orange. And I just see straight up orange and it does not feel good. And my eye is still in a lot of pain because it, it just happened a couple hours ago when I got hurt. Um, so my eye is in a lot of pain and he froze it. So I guess it's a bit better. And then he grabs like the things that you clean your ear with. I forget what they're called. Um, and he starts putting it in my eye. And he starts pulling stuff out from behind my eye and all over my eye. And then he's like pulling out a little piece of wood. He's like, yeah, this was in your eye. Yeah, this was also in your eye. And no, this guy isn't even an eye doctor. And then next he's like, okay, I'm gonna get you to follow me to this room. We're gonna give you stitches in your eye. At this point, I'm like, no, what? 
I did not want stitches in my eye. Um, but I knew it had to happen, or else it wasn't gonna be good. So he brings me into this room. He's like, you only have to have one stitch. It's gonna be okay. But he completely lied to me. So he he lies me down on a bed. He's like, you're gonna feel a pinch on your eye. Just it's just like someone pinching your skin, but you're gonna feel it on your eye. I'm like. At this point, I'm like crying because I'm like in so much pain. Um, and he puts one in my eye and he keeps like threading them through. And he's he stitched up my eye at this point. And afterwards, he's like, "See, you're gonna be okay. Um, you're gonna go to the pharmacy. They're gonna give you all these antibiotics. You're gonna take them for a while, and then you're you're gonna be okay." So we get some antibiotics, and the next day, um, I slept all day because we, when we got back from the hospital it was seven in the morning so we pulled an all-nighter so I slept all like not all day majority of the day till five and then I got up and then I watched some Netflix with my mom and then uh, we watched the flash best TV show and then I ended up going to bed again and the next day um, I go, I'm, I'm sent to my family doctor just so she can take a look at it because she wanted to know what happened because she heard about what happened um, so when when I see her, she freezes my eye just like the hospital did. Puts literally this time grabs a paintbrush and starts painting my eye, and I'm like, what? And then my vision is orange again. It does not feel good. And she's like, I can see you have plenty of scratches on in your eye behind your eye. Um, so we're gonna be sending you back to the hospital. Um, and this doctor's place was pretty close to the hospital. She's like, okay, you're gonna walk over to the hospital right now. And um, you're gonna wait in the emergency room until someone can see you. So we walk over to the emergency room, and um, there's at least a hundred people in it. So we're like, oh, we're gonna be here all day. So we waited about half an hour. They called us up. Um, we did all this stuff, and then really quickly, a doctor came and saw us after waiting for a bit more. Um, and he goes, he goes, does an eye test to see how my vision is. My vision is pretty good. They said I had 20 out of 20 vision. Um, with my bad eye, so I'm like, oh, okay, I, I have a good vision with my bad eye, and then, and then they go, okay, so, basically, we're gonna be sending you to Tur Toronto, and there's another hospital in Toronto, um, and they're gonna take a look at your eye, too, because they need an eye specialist, because we're not eye specialists, but I was told that they were going to be, so at this point, three days, it's day three, still haven't seen an eye specialist, and I'm just like, what okay um so yeah it's it's the next day and i'm gonna go see the specialist and this was yesterday actually we're driving down to toronto and then we get a call from this lady and she goes yeah you're not actually going to toronto um that special eye doctor we were talking about she's not gonna he, sorry he's not gonna be in today so we're sending you to a different office in Toronto. So I get sent to this medical center in Toronto. It's not a hospital, so I'm like, oh, thank goodness. And um, he goes, they put freezing cream in my eye. She starts, she uses this machine that goes up to my eye and then pokes it. She do it six times in each eye. And she goes, okay, thank you. Just had to do some eye scans. And then um, the doctor, the specialist, uh, apparently the best in Ontario comes. And then he's like, Okay, so I'm gonna use my little machine on your eye. I need to give you um, this cream in your eye um, so I can see your eye. So he says, I'm putting it in both of your eyes so it doesn't look weird. So he puts it in both my eyes. He looks at my eyes and then he goes, um, then he says to me, um, this is like vision blurring stuff. So you're gonna be, your whole vision is gonna be blurred for the next five hours. So like close up, I couldn't see anything. So I was like trying to play on my phone and then I couldn't read or see anything on it. I could just see outlines. So like I was writing stuff and I just had to go off memory of keyboard when I was texting my friends and yeah. So I was going off memory of keyboard for the next five hours I've been blind. And then, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say, the doctor also told us, he goes, my eye, only the first layer of my eye was affected and I am really, really lucky. Cause if under my first layer of my eye was affected, I would have permanent damage and that would affect me for the rest of my life. Um, so I'm really lucky because it will heal because it's the first layer of my eye. Um, he told to think of your eye like a water bag and like it only got to the first layer so it's not gonna explode or whatever. 
And um, I kept getting told that I'm so lucky that I have my eye just a little bit higher. That branch hit me and I could have fully lost my eye or had a glass eye. So I am really thankful for that. And then, uh, yeah, and then he explains what's going to be happening. He goes, um, you're going to need, I don't even know if this is right, but he used the words, he said, you're going to need plastic surgery once you're all healed to make your eye look the same as your other eye because your eye will be uh, looking different because after what's happened to it. So you're going to need plastic surgery to put an eye lift or whatever you need to make it look like your other eye so you look normal. Um, and I go, oh, okay. So now that's what happened. And I have to go back to him in a week and he's going to be doing more tests on my eye. But as of now, I'm chill. Um, if you really want to see my eye, um, at me on Instagram, William underscore Silhani, and then DM me and ask for a photo of it, and I might send it to you, uh, but yeah, that's all I got for this video, I know it's a long one, I know it's a story time, I know it's boring, but I guess, thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time, peace.